Hey guys, I just want to show you guys uh, something I've been doing and I've tested and I've actually gotten great results out of it. Okay, start off, I want to explain the issue. If you guys look at that transfer, the left side transfer, the one that's on the exhaust side, it's actually aimed towards the center of the exhaust, center of the cylinder combustion chamber rather and that's not very good you know transfer angle that will lead to a, a large piece of your gas oil mix gas fuel air mix to go out the exhaust port especially once you've ported the exhaust and widened it as that one isn't widened at all that's a stock everything on the cylinder is stock so what i've done I've, you know, started to dig back into those transfers and aim them towards the intake where they need to be aimed because that's the larger of the two transfers if you pay attention. But what happens is just about as soon as you get to digging into the top of that transfer port and get it aimed well and to the point where it looks like it'll flow well and it will flow well, just right when you get up on that point, you break through the cylinder wall because there's not much meat on these cylinders. So this is what I've done. And no, I'm not um I'm not currently like putting these in my cell engine. So don't think if you buy one of my engines, you're gonna find one with JB Weld. If you request something like this, it will be more powerful and it won't sacrifice any reliability. But I'm just not currently, you know, doing it across the board because folks will complain. No matter the fact that it won't make a difference, it'll never fail, folks will complain. So I'm not going to offer this to anyone except who directly requests it. But if you look at that, and this isn't finished, but if you look at that, if you look at that angle, that angle is much, much better, especially on this side. See how that's angled towards the intake? Same here. Now, see how that's not really angled well. That's angled like really towards the exhaust if you want to be technical. This aimed towards intake. Now I've done this already for two cylinders being ridden by local people. And the power gains is obvious. Like the low end torque gains is major. Even with, you know, I would guess, I would say conservative ports on the, you know, intake and exhaust. That's about 128 degrees intake duration. 160 exhaust. Toast shape. You know, just some I'm fiddling around with. But not very wide at all. That's maybe 28 millimeters wide. 160 degrees duration. So, even with conservative size exhaust and intake ports which i usually do you know much larger much better i will usually go for 70 percent of bore and you know a better intake duration but what's making a major difference is these transfers which tells me that th this transfer design is hurting you like seriously hurting you when it comes to making power out of these china dolls and this proves it. So with this information, do as you wish. I just wanted to share it. Something I've been experimenting with. 